Well, here's some facts you'll find hard to digest. <laughs> Your stomach has a pretty incredible capacity. Being able to hold up to half a gallon of liquids, that's a whole large bottle of Coke. It's pretty hard to estimate how much hard food you can eat because it's processed with your teeth before it gets to your stomach. There's definitely not enough room for a turkey, but a good-sized chicken would probably fit in it. If you were asked where your stomach was, you would probably point to your tummy. Sorry, that's wrong. It's actually up here, hidden in between your ribs. Scientists believe that the appendix will disappear eventually. Nobody really knows why we need it, but some researchers claim it might have existed to help our ancestors digest tree bark. Because it's no longer part of our daily diet, the appendix isn't necessary and can disappear from our bodies without any consequences. The appendix isn't the only obsolete part of our body. Wisdom teeth aren't that useful either. Yeah, they used to come in handy whenever our ancestors lost some of their teeth, but the only thing they help us lose now is the money we spend extracting them. Almost all of our body is covered with hairs, even if we don't notice them. They grow even in the belly button. Their purpose is to catch lint. Check it out. See? Your liver acts as your own personal bodyguard, protecting you from toxins and many other things you don't want hanging around in your body. It's also pretty indestructible and can even regenerate. Only about 43% of you is actually you. Over 50% of the cells in your body belong to tiny little creatures that mainly live in your gut. Still, even though your own cells are fewer than microbial ones, there are, on average, about 100 trillion of them in you. See? You're not alone. With this in mind, your own genes are less than half of what you really consist of. If you take all the microbes dwelling within your body and count their genes, you'll find between 2 to 20 million. If you sleep, it doesn't mean all of your body sleeps. In fact, sometimes your brain has to work even harder when you're asleep. It needs to process tons of information, and reports usually take a lot of time. The nose definitely gets a good rest while you're sleeping. Amazingly, your sense of smell basically deactivates at night. You wouldn't even be bothered if there was a really terrible smell in your bedroom. No comment. The nose is probably one of the most underappreciated parts of the body. We wouldn't even be able to enjoy eating without it. About 80% of the taste of any food is thanks to the nose and its ability to recognize odors. If you hold your nose while eating, you will taste almost nothing. With no sense of smell, you're likely to recognize food mostly by texture. So an onion might seem no different than a big refreshing apple. Yeah, try that and leave me a comment on how that goes. Scientists used to believe we could distinguish about 10,000 smells, but they were wrong. Recent research showed that people are actually able to distinguish between more than a trillion smells. We also remember them better than anything else, and smells can even evoke some distant memories. Your nose just doesn't help you breathe and catch odors. It filters the air for sensitive throats and lungs. If we inhale dry air, the nose moistens it, cools it, and heats it if it's necessary. Also, the nose cleans the air of dirt. When you age, your brain is gradually reducing in size. By age 75, it's much smaller than at 30, and it starts shrinking by the age of 40. It happens to everyone and doesn't affect your mental strength in any way. Our brain can store only 7 bits in its short-term memory. Don't even try to compare your brain with a phone capacity, not even the one you had back in 2005. That's why you can't even learn a phone number by heart. Our short-term memory functions just like a chalkboard. You can get some information, but sooner or later, you run out of space. To check your working memory capacity, try this test. Ask a friend to write a list of 10 words and read it to you. Most people recall 7 or fewer items from that list. Your RAM, or working memory, is an essential thing that we need to perform almost any everyday activity including basic conversations, surfing the net, and even petting your dog. Our strongest and emotional memories are often fake. 
The central memory gives us the confidence to believe that we remember everything, even though most of the details are made up in our heads. Not only your brain shrinks as you get older, you too shrink dramatically. The bones get more brittle, the backbone gets compressed. A similar thing happens when you rest at night. Your bones kind of relax too. Because of this, you wake up taller in the mornings than you are at the end of the day. Among mammals, only humans can walk on two legs for their entire lives. You might think that kangaroos or gorillas move in the same way. But kangaroos use their tail as a third leg, and gorillas use their long arms to keep balance. Your bones take part in metabolism, too. Since they mostly consist of calcium, when there's not enough of this element in your blood, bones start shedding it into the bloodstream, balancing your body. The same reaction works in reverse, too. When there's too much calcium in your blood, it goes into the bones to be stored for later. The only bone to have a sense of humor in your body is inside your upper arm. That's why it's called the humerus. Okay, I made that one up. Moving along. The only bones that never grow are found in our ears. We can hear thanks to these tiny bones because they have adapted to transmit sound vibrations. Doctors call them the oscular chain. One of these hearing bones, the stapes, is the smallest bone in your entire body. It's no larger than a grain of rice. Our height, shape of our body, and skin color depend a lot on where our ancestors used to live. But we can adapt to new conditions even within our own lifespan. For example, if you move from plains to the mountains, you'll eventually develop more red blood cells to compensate for the lack of oxygen. And naturally, if you move from a colder climate to a hotter and sunnier one, your skin will get darker to adapt. Our lifespan is programmed within our cells. They constantly renew and divide, but they have a sort of internal timer that stops at some point. Some cells also stop reproducing sooner than others. On average, cells cease dividing when we reach the age of 100. That means if we could find a way to trick ourselves into turning off the timer, we could potentially live forever. Body fat isn't just a nuisance. It acts as insulation material, energy reserve, and shock absorber. Your body sends the most fat into your waist region because that's where your internal organs are. If something happens to you, this layer of fat might protect your vitals from irreparable damage. Heads up! Your skull isn't a single bone. It actually consists of 28 different bones, many of which are fused together to protect your brain. The mandible, or the lower jaw, is the only skull bone that isn't fixed to the bone around it. It's attached with connective tissues and muscles. This is what makes it so mobile. You can move it in any direction you like. Hey, you can actually masticate with your mandible, another word for chewing. You see, the strongest muscles in your body aren't in your arms or legs, they're in your head. The masseter is the main muscle responsible for chewing, and it needs to be the strongest for you to eat normally. And you know those muscles that allow you to move your ears? Those are temporalis, located above your temples. They also help you chew your food. Now, we've got two really fast muscles. They control the eyelid closing. In fact, they're the fastest muscles in our body. Eyes are fragile and need protection, so the reflex that protects them needs to be as fast as lightning. These muscles can shut the eyelids in less than a tenth of a second. People with double-jointed thumbs can bend them backward. It looks super unusual and very few people can do it. Still, it's totally okay. Even though it looks painful, it actually doesn't hurt at all for someone with a double-jointed thumb. Now, we recognize only purple-blue, green-yellow, and yellow-red colors. Everything else is a combination of these three. It's impossible to calculate how many of these combinations the human eye sees, because every single person has slight vision differences. But it's about 1 million combinations on average. You see?